very warm welcome to TEDx Bonn 2021, coming to you live from the Deutsche Telekom headquarters in the beautiful city of Bonn. We're so excited that you could join us today. From valleys to the sky, from lushes green to eyes, Earth's beauty leaves our kind in My name is Nicola Bramkamp. I am the Artistic Director of Save the World and together with a great team we've been organizing TEDx Bonn since 2015. As a dramaturg, I'm an expert on storytelling. And I'm sure that we need inspiring and courageous stories when it comes to sustainability. I'll bring the garbage back that you leave upon Mother Earth. I'll bring the garbage back until you stop producing waste. Everything comes back. Karma has no expiry date. I will talk about more or less about awareness. Um, how, how actually Corona changed my life and um, the time I had and uh, the contact at the Rhine with the garbage with waste, uh, with plastic, um, this is my topic. We need stories which are positive. That means which give us a future, which give us hope, and which show that we as human beings can change the world, that we are cultural human beings, and that we have a different behavior and a different kind of action, and that we can manage it. We have to use all the resources again. They have to be in thinking that all resources are a nutrient again. There is no waste in nature. Nature doesn't know na waste. So what I uh, plea for is that we have a holistic approach in our whole consumption and production. What we need for that is not to think about to have a less big footprint, but to have a beneficial footprint, to have a good positive impact on the earth, that we are useful human beings, but not use less human beings. So in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to talk to you about a new sustainability mindset. A shift from green corporations becoming good corporations. I think it's relevant because we see that the whole world is changing and everyone is talking about green now. Um, but I believe personally that green is the new standard and will be the new standard. And so I'm asking the question, what will be the next mindset after being green? Um, and corporations need to think long term. So I think it's really relevant to look even further than that. I think most of us would agree that we are not even close to sustainability or social justice, particularly after the COVID-19 pandemic. When we talk about sustainability, we need to talk about the social justice because it's not only preserving the resources of the planet for the future generation, it's also making sure that these resources are equally shared among everyone, everywhere, also today. These tomatoes from Morocco, I think they look really, really good. Sorry again, Leah, but actually they're grown on the occupied land of the Sahrawi population and their transport to the supermarket was a long way. This is giving me headache. What should we do then? What is the most sustainable tomato for our lasagna? We try to bring people, especially the audience, that they are coming to a situation to f reflect them, themselves about uh, their own privilege and their uh, consumption, what kind of resources they are using. So this is the, m the motivation of the speech. And we also want people to organize themselves in grassroots organization and fight um, against inequalities. So why the individual consumers are the only ones blamed for a supposed non-sustainable lifestyle? Shouldn't companies which promote inequalities and governments that subsidize them be held responsible for all the injustices they cause? We have to go beyond individual solutions to find collective ones that include multiple perspectives. There's not only one solution for a sustainable world. I'm very delighted tonight 
to host for the second time TEDx Bonn. There isn't innovation without a positive social impact. As designers, we aim to deliver meaningful experiences that might change the world. Let me give you a simple example of how design can save the world by asking you this. When was the last time you inherited a plastic table from your ancestors? I guess never. So, neither do I, did I. This is certainly not an object that becomes more beautiful over time and certainly not an object that will last for generations. But I claim that each of you has an old, cherished piece of furniture or dish uh, whose history can be seen. My motivation to do a TED Talk was, um, on one hand, to focus myself on, a, on, a, um, on my topic and to um, get, in a way, in contact with the world and discuss my topic. Maybe it's not a one-way uh, thing. I hope so. I think it's very important to create shared responsibility and also ownership if you want to create um, good, good um, future city scenarios. So if people um, want to speak with the government about city development, they can use this tool, they can comment on uh, residential housing, they can comment on new ways of mobility, they can comment on social issues, different tools, and this is quite uh, successful. It's interesting that a lot of people take, um, um, participate in such processes, and the comments are very, very constructive. I, I remember when we started this, we were afraid of getting, de uh, of getting like uh, bashing uh, comments or things like this, and it really doesn't happen. People are very responsible, they feel responsible for the city and they really want to contribute. I will be part of the expert panel and will talk with two great other female colleagues about what sustainability means for politics, society and corporations and I will introduce what we do as Deutsche Telekom. I think companies have a very good role because some of them, they are very innovative, they have the innovation. The, the, the politics cannot make the innovation, they don't have the capacity for mm. that. But they have to make the framework so that it's equal for everybody. But some things you have to prohibit, it's not, it's not possible otherwise. Yeah, Melanie, yeah. I see you yeah, yeah. nodding your head. Yeah, you wanna yeah. and, and I agree, because we mm. have that discussion often, because as a, as a German telco company, uh, there is a sort of natural distance to regulation, because mm. we're already so much regulated mm. on the part of our business. But uh, in CSR, that's definitely different. Mm. I think it has to be a good mix between things where, where you need to get a mass moving, yeah, and, and, on, and you need to harmonize things. Mm. So this is why I think beside what Germany is planning at the moment, which is interesting and valuable for us, but for us we're looking much more at the Green Deal on the EU level, mm -hmm. and we would even love to see even broader discussions on political level. I believe that we need a creative dialogue with all parts of society, with culture, politics, economics, science, and we all need to work together, and so we need to tell empowering stories to face this transformation ahead. What we do to the world, we do to ourselves. It's not unconditional. Huh? Action, reaction, everything comes back. I believe that art can help sustainability because can help shape a vision for a better, more inclusive world for everyone. Let's make this year a turning point for people and the planet. Let's take action all together and save the world. Save the world. Complicity. Making the world better. Reparations. Saving the planet for my children. Safeguarding our future. Responsibility. The beauty of nature. Action. The ones we thought we were.